Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm James, continuing on with my build series of the Aeromite RC plane. In the last video, I finished up the build. And in this video, I'm gonna be doing a test run of our engine there, which is an OS Engines 15 LA Glow engine. It's a little two stroke engine. I did a break-in um, engine test run, if you will, video on this in the past. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. But today I'm just gonna go ahead and start it up. I have a two ounce tank in there. I wanna see how long it takes for that two ounce tank to be used up. And you know, just make sure everything's running properly. After we do a few test runs, then we'll be able to take it out for the maiden flight. I had better put something down beneath it so I don't get any glow fuel on the ground here. There we go. All right, there's our little tank. Let me go ahead and turn my battery on, connect my wires here. For my fuel, I'm using this VP Racing 15% nitro and 18% oil glow fuel. I did put a little extension on my fuel tubing here so I can get it apart without having to dig down too deep. I'm just going to go ahead and put my fuel right in this line right here. It's such a small engine, such a small tank, I'm just using a little bulb here, a fuel bulb instead of a pump or anything. Pinch that off. There we go. That's good. Put our little hatch back on. So this engine does not have a low speed needle adjustment. It just has one needle valve here and the factory settings for the air bleed screw, which is kind of hard to see that little hole right there. If you look inside there, this screw right here should extend about halfway into that hole. And that is the factory setting for that, which I've checked. And then for my needle valve adjustment, for my initial adjustment, I'm just going to open this up about three turns. Let me see if I can find my, there it is. So three turns, I'm going to go one, two, three. That'll be a little bit on the rich side, but it should be good. We'll check our throttle, make sure it's working properly. That's good. Let's see if I can prime the engine, put my thumb over this and just give it some turns. Hopefully it'll suck it in there. There it goes. Okay. All right, I think we're ready to start this thing up. Now I've never been very good at hand starting engines. So I do have a starter, but it's a pretty big starter for a small engine, but we'll just do our best. We we'll have to be careful. Oops, this goes over here. There's our glow power. And we'll try this out. All right, well, here we go. Give it a try. Just like that. Up there.
Well, once again, you know, OS engines just do not disappoint. That thing started right up. The actual amount of time that it took to actually use that whole tank up was somewhere around um, maybe about four and a half, five minutes, which, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Again, it's a small engine, um, I'm sorry, but it's a small tank and don't really have a lot of leeway with that. So this is gonna give me some quick flights, but they're gonna be fun. Right, so I put some more fuel in there. Let me put my hatch back on. All right, so go ahead and try this one more time. Um, I'm gonna open up my needle valve a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit more on the rich side because the plane is sitting on the ground. It doesn't have a lot of air flowing over it and it's getting hot. So I just wanna make sure that I don't get it too hot. We'll do that right there. And here we go. Let's get in there, buddy. Well, okay there, there you have it. The engine is running fine. Looks like it runs great with the tank. Um, like I said, I'm getting about a five minute uh, flight out of it. It's probably gonna be longer when I'm up in the air because I'll be able to do a lot of sort of coasting and such when I'm up there flying. It's not gonna be full throttle all the time. And as you saw there, I messed around a little bit with the idle, again, bringing it down a little bit. I still have to adjust that even further down by making a change on the servo, like I mentioned on the servo arm, make some adjustments there. But overall, man, it's running really good. And I did, you saw, I did kind of bring it up vertical and saw how that worked and it ran great going vertical. When I went nose down, it uh, kind of bogged down a bit, but you have to realize that it's not moving. So when I tilted it forward, obviously it start, started to suck a little bit of air. So yeah, the engine is running great. Then over here we have our classic glow fuel oil on the plane, which I don't mind one bit. Okay, well that's it for our test run video. The engine's running great, and I'm looking forward to taking this out in the field to do the maiden flight, which will be the next video in this build series. So stay tuned for that, and like always, I appreciate you watching my channel, and we will see you next time.